Hey guys, it's me, Mystique Summers, live in action for you. I just finished this eye. I hope you like it. Stay tuned for the tutorial on how to do this. It's not a speed tutorial. I'm actually talking. I hope it's like under 10 minutes because y'all know how I like to talk. So remember, before you do anything, hit com remember to comment, like this video, subscribe, share with your friends. If you want a great vacay, hang with me on the drag race. Well, pretty much the drag stars at sea with 40 other drag racers. Stay tuned for more information. Talk to you later. Yes. Bye. Hey guys, it's me, Mystique Summers, live in action for you. Well, this video is um, pretty much a redo of this look that I did the other day that everybody was like, oh my god, oh my god, this is part one of two because I had a little contest. I narrowed down to the top two and then everybody was like, oh my god, I just want to see that, 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 blah. So, this one is going to be the real girl cut crease. I did the other day where it's still it's still dramatic but it's still wearable so a drag queen can do this female impersonator can do this a real woman can do this at night I don't want to see you in the daytime with this but it's hardcore cut crease so it's real simple and it's real easy so what I'm gonna do first is my brows are already kind of cleaned up to my liking it's not super clean but it's clean enough so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna pretty much outline my eyebrow so I'm going to be using first I'm going to use this LA color brown black yeah brown hyphen black eyeliner pencil so I'm gonna go from the bottom I'm gonna make the line so you see I made my tail and now I'm just gonna go in with quick strokes in a little bit to kind of fill in my brow. Now I'm going to go on with the normal, normal brown. And then once you have it the way you want it, then that's it. Pretty much, that's my brow that I'm going to be using. I'm going to go on with with the angle brush, and then I'm just going to fill in. There's nothing on this angle brush. I'm just moving all the product around you see norm normally I will extend it all the way out there but like I said I'm doing more of a real girl-ish brown so I'm gonna do you know I love a block brow so I'm gonna smooth some make it block while I'm doing this I'm looking at the picture that, that I did so I remember what I did picture that I did the other day so I remember so now I'm gonna go in I'm gonna clean up the entire everything and mind you I have no foundation on never have any foundation when I do this type of look I do the foundation last so with the LA girl pro concealer and warm honey what I'm gonna do get some on get some on my cream eyeshadow brush from Chanel it's like an angle eyeshadow brush and then I'm just gonna go in just gonna clean it up and again, you clean it up to your liking. Like I put in a little bit extra. Again, you clean it up to your liking. And now what I do, I'm going to go in with the same brush. Put some down. Wipe off the excess on my hand. Just wipe off the excess. And then I'm just going to pretty much go all the way down my eye blend it all the way down and once you get here you don't want a line so you just you know blend it over you can use your finger if you need to because once you put on you know your foundation and do your nose contour you know, it's pretty much a done deal so you go just still you still cleaning it up So now what I do, I'm going to go in with a nice flat brush and I'm going to use like a nice fleshy color eyeshadow. I forgot which one this was because remember I bought a whole bunch of eyeshadows and I've been depotting and everything. Um, I believe this one is from, doo -doo 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 -doo. I want to say this one is from Black Opal but the eye look I'm going to do is pretty much completely from Black Opal. 
So I'm just gonna go in, gonna brush it in, and then pat, brush and pat. And then once I get to my edges, I'll do the same thing. You know, you wanna blend it all the way out. Just continue to blend. So, there we go with that. Now, we're gonna clean up the top. Um, and you're gonna blend that out as best as you can so you don't have a, my, what I call it is the halo brow. So, I'm gonna go in. This is why I use the angle, my angle brush, cause I have a little bit more of a control than using just a regular flat brush. As you can see, more control. And it doesn't matter if you like kind of mess up your brow, you still can, like I said, clean it up and fix it. Once you get to this stage, what you're going to use is the same brush, you know, wipe off the excess, and you're just going to blend up. You can use your own same color foundation if you want so you don't have like the whole 3D halo effect but I do it like this you know do it like this, do it like this and now you can still see like kind of a little excess what I do is get the angle brush again make sure you have it the way you want kind of fill in once I have it filled in that same brush, same angle brush, I'm just gonna cut it. Cause like I said, I'm doing more of a real girl, so I don't wanna have all this excess tail going on. So now, if I ever get, you know, Botox to get all snatched, that brow is snatched. So again, like I said, you're still blending up. You're blending all the concealer up. It's fine, like I said. Once you put on your foundation and do everything, you won't have that halo brow. So now, we're done with the with the concealer. We're done with our eyebrows. Done, bam, bam, that's your brow. So now what we're gonna go with is, let me look at it, okay. We're gonna be using, this one is Midnight Allure from Black Opal. So. What you're gonna start off with is a nice blending brush, and you're gonna use some like a brown, any type of brown you want. So you know, dust off the excess. So now you're just gonna make your little crease area. At this point, you just wanna just blend till you die. This is how I go. I'll just keep, I'll just keep going like this. You know, just continue like this to make the shape that I want to have the nice. Have, have my nice crease that I want. And again, once you have on full foundation, you can go in to your nose area. So once I have that done to my liking, I'm gonna go in with more of a, I'm gonna use a pencil blending, and I'm gonna be using this dark shimmery blue for more of the concealer. And everybody on Facebook is now talking to me. Eh. So what I'm going to do, so I'm going to start, I'm going to have my crease hit here. So I'm going to go in, like dab it here, so I can have a little, like a starting space, if you need, need one of those, and then I'm just going to blend. As you can see, just, just, just off more of the excess. Let's see, boom, boom. Okay, now, once you have that, you're almost done. Like I said, this is a simple, pretty easy look. I'm gonna use some NYX eyeshadow base in white with the concealer brush. This one's from Chanel. I know, bougie, probably not. But I'm gonna go 